Yo, I'm being so serious. This, I'm not even trying to troll. Like, that ass. Right, I know I made the, the joke just now, but, like, bro, seriously. Like, was this a good time to make this video, bro? Like, is he really okay? Like, like, like if, this, if he see this video somehow, I'm being serious. Like, are you okay? Like, no, like, not even trolling. For real. Oh. video by Tommy G inside Bay Area's ruthless Afghan street gang I'm Tommy G I'm here with the tribe Afghan street gang represent baby get old G big homie right here uh, we ain't the same you was in school I caught a body for this state and I came back and went to school and I think you getting them crispy before prayer did the race had UAV still got away I'm surprised and catch a L and I'm still I got an ankle monitor I'm fresh off bail and I'm on probation you feel me from the AM till it's late pockets fat like that boy Drewski brand new Glock and it's a new key I don't stake it like nah bruh you're not you're not out wrestling Tommy G bro I'm not even gonna hold you that's kind of crazy no glaze I'm just saying bruh what Afghanistan is home to some of the toughest people on earth. It's a place that could be considered unconquerable. With rudimentary weapons smuggled in by Unconquerable? Who the fuck? Who's conquering it? By the CIA, Pakistani <laughs> intelligence, and the Saudis, this country has been able to outlast world superpowers with the Russians in the 1980s and the United States in the 21st century. This video profiles Afghani American rapper Rondo and his Bay Area crew ALT, Afghani Lawane tribe. Many Afghanis fled their war-torn homeland and immigrated to the United States in the search of a more peaceful life. Rondo's father was one of those people. After facing racial discrimination and violence in gang-infested California, Rondo's father created ALT in the early 90s so Afghanis could join together and protect each other. Many of the original members of ALT have been deported, killed, or have moved away from the area to get out of the street life. In today's episode, Rondo takes us into the world of ALT. We explore religion, culture, and characters of this Afghani clique. Doing these videos, I've been around many violent crews, and I have to say this is the most ruthless group I've encountered. Let's dive in. Folks, before we get into the Afghan street gang, I got an announcement. We had a live event, double documentary. I already seen this, I already seen this. All right, we in Cali. Cali! All right, we're walking up. There seems to be some sketchy shenanigans going You're on. You're meeting them at a playground in the middle of the day? Meeting them crispy before prayer? Exactly, bro, that's exactly what we're doing. Good to meet you, man, how are you doing? What are you you imagine driving by a team and they could get a fresh lineup on a uh, okay. swing looking fresh swing Is set like spot for haircuts if I wanted to meet you up in <laughs> nah, you was taking a minute bro so I was like you know what bro I was already gonna cut his hair I was, I was supposed to do it earlier today but we got kind of busy so I was like you know what let me just bust it down real quick what do you think I should do with my facial hair I'm gonna shave that shit bro <laughs> <laughs> like, <"Ugly spot." laughs> okay okay not trying to be me bro but you look better shaved what makes your beard better than mine right now because I'm Afghan <laughs> It's just a staple, bro. The the goatee, the Afghan staple. Yeah. Did you guys grow up in Afghanistan or grow up here? I grew, I grew up here, here, but I've been to Afghanistan. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. I was what? out there in Kabul and Mazar and all those places. What was it like? Bro, when I went, bro, all the women. It's probably like how it is now. I know for a little bit it was chill, but they had the like little blue niqabs. It's different from the ones that the Arabs wear, bro. It's like uh, it's all blue, and you can't see the eyes. You can't see the face. It's like a little black net. Mm. So, what do you think about that? But to be honest, bro, I don't really care, bro. A lot of people think it's uh, women being oppressed. But if you're Muslim, bro, it's already part of, like, the book. So if you call yourself a Muslim, you shouldn't probably have a pr problem with it, you know, in mm. my opinion. Yeah. So, I know there's a lot. That's what you're saying. You believe in. Ethnic groups in Afghanistan. There's the Pashtuns. There's the Uz Uzbeks. Uzbeks. And the uh, Tajiks, right? Tajik. Pashtun. Uzbek. Uh, Hazara. Where do you claim your lineage? 
I'm Pashtun. Pashtun people have fighting in their blood. Known for their Pashtun code, if you are one of their friends, they will sacrifice their life to protect you, like they did for Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell in the True Story Lone Survivor. And if you are their enemy, okay. they consider it an obligation to their code to take revenge on you. When the Taliban emerged in the 90s, they had a network of fundamentalist religious schools called Madrasa. These fueled their rise to power. You see, the word Taliban means the students, and they recruited heavily from these Pashtun Madrasas across Pakistan okay. and Afghanistan for their fighters. Because the That Taliban is a crazy video. I ain't never seen... Uh, are they praying? That man praying and he got a whole AK in his hand. He rocking back and forth. He... I don't know whether to be scared or be like, that's tough. I don't know which one. Afghanistan for their fighters. Because the Taliban now completely control Afghanistan, the Pashtun race hold a significant amount of power. Do you speak any Pashto? No, nah, I don't speak Pashto, but my homie right here, he speak Pashto and Farsi. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try a couple things that I learned. Okay, um, let me see. Um, well, first, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum obviously. Zaytamiyam. Taso Senga, yes. Alhamdulillah, what is Senga? Taso Korane Senga da. I can tell you what I think. Wait, what are you saying? How is your family? Oh, it's also like a cool name. Oh, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Of all the research I did, that I nigga don't speak that language. <laughs> you don't got a lot of us, gang. You could just say you speak a, a little bit. You know <laughs> About Afghanistan. You said, oh, oh. Hospitable, nice people on the planet. <laughs> so, Taliban, if anyone from the Taliban is watching this, I would love to interview you, genuinely. I would like to come to Afghanistan and be able to tell my family that they think I would die if I came to Afghanistan. But if you can reach out to me, bridge the gap, we'd love to talk to you. Taliban now is pretty much just like the police force, right? It's the government, basically. Yeah. I heard they've been doing good shit like building roads and shit. And monsters. They're developing, they're developing. I know they're doing some deals with the Chinese right now. That's my plan in the future too, bro. If I ever come up big and make bread, I want to go back and invest into my own country, you know what I mean? Like, Would, would you be scared to go back? I don't know, bro. Shit with everybody, bro. So, okay, because if you say in America, I want to go speak to the Taliban, most people assume that you have a death wish, right? Bro, everybody has shit twisted, bro. The Taliban are humans, too, bro. Everybody's cool, bro. Not everybody's just born a murderer, bro. You feel me? Why would they just kill you for no reason, bro? You feel me? Just because you're white, just because you're not Muslim, bro. It's just stupid, bro. For, for religion, I get mm. this. I get the modesty in women. I think that's an important virtue, and I think that we're losing that as a society. But I think not educating girls past 12, not letting women work, not letting them leave the house without a man, that to me seems like what I know about my wife is I would never sign her up to live like that. Leaving the house without a wife? I mean, your wife leaving the house without you is more of like a safety issue too. Imagine, you're, bro, what's a woman gonna do to a guy, bro, like if they try to attack them? Bro, we like 400 times stronger than them. I'm not being sexist, bro. It's just the truth, you know what I mean? What they gonna do, you know what I mean? That's why you need a guy to protect you. But shouldn't you. the responsibility be... Yeah, the yeah, see? Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, thank you. I was about to say, that's that shouldn't be your first thought. Like, you shouldn't be... Like, yes, that's your factor in, but, bro, just be, you shouldn't think as if like she's always going to get harmed when she goes out yes yes there's people out there that can do yes yes that's true that's true and if she has a man it'll be easier but bro honestly like that ass <laughs> i <laughs> like trust i don't think like how you were just saying going back to your point not everyone's born a murderer or trying to be weird so with that logic you should you should yeah, i feel like she should be okay yeah, to just leave the house gang bad stuff than women not being allowed to leave their house hey bro it's a cool world bro you can't tell everybody to be chill bro you feel me yeah. that's true but mm, nah I, I i feel no i see what you're saying but it's like the same way you say how the taliban is humans it's the same way women are human too bro like it's the same thing. Everyone has rights. It's called being a human. And they're not slaves. Like, you gotta... You gotta, protect, you, gotta, you gotta expect the worst and pray for the best. That's true. That's true. But what comes with that, what comes with that is still being a human. So you gotta... You praying for the best is hoping that your, your woman safe. You know, you can give her weapons, give her whatever. Like, but... She's an adult, bro. Are you what? AOT. ALT. ALT. What does ALT stand for? Afghan Lay One Eye Tribe. And what's Lay One Eye? Damn, that nigga said it straight from. Hey, damn. What he got that ingrained in your brain? Yeah, Afghan Lay One Eye Tribe. What is ALT? I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just saying he just. Afghan Lay One Eye Tribe. Damn, boy, he had that shit on lock. Crazy and Pashto. What does it take to join? Do you guys take any Polacks? Before we speak about this, bro. 
everything this video is for entertainment purposes only we don't condone oh 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 <laughs> hey ain't nobody do that before i ain't never watched a tommy g video and somebody had to say that to the camera now you really look sus i'm be honest on game violence we're not in the gang anything you see is all props hashtag props hashtag props only hashtag entertainment hashtag purposes only it's all scripted at the time of the release of this episode rondo is currently facing a multitude of felony charges i can't tell you exactly what oh that's why that's why that's why so why'd you agree to do the video you should not have done this if you knew you had people out here trying to trying to get you you what? Sure you I'd be like, nah, Tommy, not right now. We'll call the worship. Oh. You're gonna have to go there with a half a haircut. That's. No, that's gonna be... we'll call the worship. Oh. You're gonna have to go there with a half a haircut. That's. No, that's gonna be... So how? It's not that much to fade though. Religion. He he, he looked fine. Like five times a day. Like clockwork, we try to do it, bro. Bro, sometimes the devil just tries to like deter you from wanting to pray, and it doesn't give that energy. Friday right. prayer is, is mandatory, bro. Every Friday, men the, men have to do it for women. It's optional. The devil on the shoulders are real thing. Sometimes the devil tries to tempt me into pornography. <laughs> <laughs> bro, one of the homies he died yesterday, and we had his janaza here. <laughs> Are they okay? Y'all straight? Like, I'm being serious. Like, why? Why did he agree to do this video? This is happening. First of all, he just said he had felony charges. Felony charges. One of your friends died yesterday? Why are you doing this? What? <laughs> bro, one of the homies, he died yesterday and we had his janaza here. He was supposed to be here for the video. Uh, all the team. Well, all the team. Are you able to tell any more details about that? Yeah, we could talk a little bit about it, bro, but, you know, God, please forgive our old people, bro. Our Afghan, he passed away at a young age, you know. May God forgive him, you know. He was supposed to be in this video. That's the crazy part, you know. I told uh, I told him to tell him to pull up, and then the next day, it got tragic, bro, but this is the reality of life. These, when you go to... Damn, bro. Rip, yo, like... I don't... This don't just seem. This is feel like this just wasn't a good time to do this video. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. That's when you he really going through it. Um, not even trying to be funny. I'm being serious. Like this life is temporary. Very temporary. Very. Is he all right? It reminds you that everybody's gonna taste death. You gotta do a stinja, you gotta clean your butt and your pee pee, bro. So you clean. What we'll do is, uh, if you already have whistle, which is if you fornicate, if you have sex or any of this type of stuff, then you clean your whole body, you shower. Sit down. Wash your hands three times with this one. Come on. You can cut the water in your Half of it goes in your mouth, half of it goes in your nose. I ain't doing shit. I'm sorry. Respectfully, I'm not doing that. You said in your nose? Yeah. It's so crazy to see like different cultures though. That's fire. Like it's just crazy. Like that's how they do that. Like and they and like I'm not doing that. I'm just respectfully not doing that. If that's what they do, that's what they do. You know, I'm still learning myself. I barely learned how to play last year, and I've been teaching myself. You know what I mean? We're always trying to get better, get closer on our team. You know, when they make a play, then So there's a funeral being done, so it's not really proper to film at this point. Okay. So we just got done with prayer. Just wanted to talk about something important that's going on in the world right now, in Palestine. You know, it's a lot of uh, oppression going on. And the West is trying to trick everybody. You see these ads of them trying to say uh, Palestine is terrorist. And not only that, bro, the thing that really has me upset, bro, is that there's Muslim rappers. I'm not going to say names, you know what I mean? I, and I really f with their music. But you don't see them talking about this stuff, you know what I mean? And there's one thing about me, and niggas know me, bro. I ain't scared of nobody. I ain't scared of... <laughs> Hold on, what you say? That there's Muslim rappers. I'm not going to say names, you know what I mean? I, I, and I really f with their music. But you don't see them talking about this stuff, you know what I mean? And there's one thing about me, and niggas know me, bro. <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> so what he mixed with? What is he mixed with? 
No, seriously, what does he mix with? Because <laughs> it rolled off the tongue a little fast there. <laughs> he, he, he said that real proper. I ain't scared of nobody. I ain't scared to uh, talk about the truth, bro. Mm -hmm. And they probably scared to get their streams cut because, you know, bro, the Jews, bro, they be owning all the music industries. And I'm not trying to talk shit to all Jews, bro. You know, like, some Jews are good. The people, anybody who fucks with the, the oppression that's going on in Palestine, bro, you automatically opt to the tribe on my life, you know what I mean? They're gonna try to trick you saying, oh, bro, we bombed Hamas, but they killed innocents. The same way in Afghanistan that they did to our country, they bombed innocents saying they were getting the Taliban, bro. And you wonder why the Muslims, I mean, the Afghans and the Palestinians are so close, bro, you know, bro, so. To me, as a neutral outsider, I see the IDF and it looks like they're getting way too many civilian casualties and that's not cool. I mean, I bro, like it's, what the media will, the it, it's, it's what the media will try to present to you. You think you know they're good mean? guys, Morris? Bro, it's propaganda. Tons of, so on the, ta on the American taxpayer dollar, tons of innocent people in Iraq and Afghanistan were drone striked and, and blown up. Um, and that's not, I don't think that's cool at all. Like how innocent people died with your money? I mean, bro, it is what it is, you know. Yo, I'm being so serious. I'm not even trying to troll. Like, that ass. Right, I know I made the, the joke just now, but, like, bro, seriously. Like, was this a good time to make this video, bro? Like, is he really okay? Like, 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 if, this, if he see this video somehow, I'm being serious. Like, are you okay? Like, no, like, not even trolling. For real. You live here, you gotta pay the tax, but if you don't pay, you're gonna go to jail, you know? I mean, I don't like funding bombs. I wish, can we fund roads or, or schools? That's, that's the thing that's a little scary about the world stage right now is more and more countries are starting to hate America because of our policies. And it's like, I wish our leaders wouldn't do that because I don't like being hated, you know? <laughs> I mean, bro They're like, ah, Tommy, Tommy, you don't gotta worry. We're cool, but you do anything. Trust me, Tommy. <laughs> Don't get on our bad side. Yeah, remember where you are. <laughs> Nobody will find you. I'd be I like, what? I don't want to stick his nose and shit when he don't know what he talk about. We need he doesn't Trump even back. know what room he's in right now, dude. He doesn't know Trump 2024. We need Trump. Trump. Trump 2024. Hey, I have guess for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump say something, he's staying on Venice, bro. You feel me? And Donald Trump, he's really smart, bro. He's a smart guy. If you do your homework on him, bro, he... Um, there was no wars when, when, when he was president. Trump, he, you know, even and Putin said that he respected him, you know what I mean? He don't respect Joe, you feel me? So, what has Joe done that was good for us? He's trying to take away our guns, bro. F that nigga, bro. I noticed um, you're saying a word that I'm not allowed to say. Have you ever been checked by a brother for saying that? Hell no, nah, bro. Hell no, nah, bro. We see how that plays out. In the Bay, I, mean, I get it, though. It's, it's different in the Bay, like people. It's even the Bay, bro. Like, you white, bro. You, you did it to him. We didn't. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go eat and beat the meat right now. So we'll see you at the restaurant. What? What a what, nigga? Alright guys, we're gonna go eat and beat the meat right now. So we'll oh, see you okay. at the restaurant. Oh, the masjid? You talking like this, bro? Come That's on, what I love. That's you're a guy, love. you're at Gonzo. Don't speak like that. Fine, just eat it but not beat it. <laughs> By this point, we were famished. So we wanted to have a lunch Afghani style. Nigga we said famished. Food. It took about 30 Hey, you ever been famished? I ain't never been famished, boy, Lord. For the kebabs we made. So while we were standing on the street corner waiting, things got heated. Here's what happened. Who's this white boy? He's cool. Oh, yeah. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. Who's this white boy? That's my, my hood, bro. This is my hood. Three months is my hood, nigga. What can you tell us about this area? So everybody, everybody want to say our word. Why can't nobody get their own word? I don't, look, 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 look. Why our word always gotta be their word? We y'all, well, ah, bruh. If we make up our own stuff, they wanna take it. Everybody, everybody wanna say it. You're not even there to race. What? <laughs> nobody has another word. Nobody, nobody. You got all the letters in the alphabet. We chose N. Okay, you can't pick nothing else. I swear we influence every race. Not to be like that, but we really do. I swear, bro. What can you tell us about this area? This area is my hood. That's my Hey, hey, we hey when when I say we some trendsetters, we are trendsetters, bro. We <laughs> hey, hey black bro, black people set trends 24-7. We set trends like this. Easy.
I'm a gang that says here. I'm a gang that's up from here. Believe me. I believe you. Believe me, brother. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever visited Afghanistan before? I, w I left my 21 years old, my okay. life in Afghanistan, bro. I just came in 2016 to America. Welcome. Yeah. And what was your life like in Afghanistan? What'd you do? It's normal over there how people make a scene and shit. It's not like that, but it's just like uh, people like out there like different, you know. It's not like show off and shit out hey. how the shit is out here and stuff, you know. People trying to act oh. up on weak and shit. Mm -hmm. So especially the Taliban, bro, like they're really humble people, you know. They don't do too much and stuff, you know. That's why I like they kick out all the f people out of there, you know. We love what is happening what is happening why is he just screaming nobody's but he gotta be on something why is he saying it like that he not even using it right Let's move the clip over. Let's go get some food, bro. He seems like he needs a, a hug. All right, we're good. Okay, so what? Are... Oh shit. So what are some? Hey, 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 Tommy, you gotta leave, bro. You better, you better set it off. He better set it off. He better set it off. Conception Americans or American media might have about Afghanistan. Is this guy about to fight? Oh sh! Oh, he just pulled a knife out. Oh, they really bout it. Yeah, go outside. You really get like this turn from a. This went from like, oh, we getting content. No, this is gonna be for legal reasons. Come on, get outside. Get all the angles. I want to see 4K footage right now. Sorry to catch you in a hectic moment, brother. That's how I do better. Shit, bro. Yeah, but she's like this, bro, sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. What language were you speaking? I speak Pashto, Dari, okay, okay. English. Are there any Pashto vocab words we can teach the audience back home? Simple stuff like this, you just say like, Salaamu Alaikum, you know it's hi. Salaamu Alaikum. And Singe, how are you? You know Singe, yeah. Hold the on. Like I want me like bye bye goodbye. Yeah yeah yeah. Is that guy back? Yo, who is that? Is, there, is he back? I don't know, bro. These niggas are ruining the scene. I think the Yo, hey, they. I swear, people. Hey, you know, like I'm not the N word police. I'm just saying, bro. Like nigga, you you like, damn. They really just out here. Everybody want to say it. You got everybody want to say it. Everybody want to say it. We really like dang. 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 Bro, you take us off this planet. This world will be boring. I'm saying it right now. If you took black people off the earth, the world would be boring. On everything. We come with the swag, bro. All, all, we, all, I swear we do. Sir, this cornerstone of the planet. Your block, this one street, this this sidewalk, you got an NBA tank top on. You know it's bad. What what shoes he got? I don't even. Come from this block, bitch. Where are we going? Let's just go eat. So I don't know if this is a good time to bring it up, but you've had to defend yourself before. Yeah. Is that something that we can get into, but without much details? No, we can talk about it, bro. Beat that case, bro. You know. These niggas know what I do, bro. I'm not with the tomfoolery, bro. Me at the same you was in school. I caught a body for the state and I came back and went to school. Tommy G trying to get this man locked up, bro. Why are you trying to get this nigga locked up, yeah? He trying to get this dude locked up. He trying to get him locked up. He trying to get him locked up. Bruh. <laughs> Why was that the first five seconds he said, though? I wouldn't be bragging this, though. He playing the whole verse. Tommy, why are you doing this to this man? He 
Bobbing from the AM till it's late. Pockets fat like that boy Drewski. Brand new Glock and it's a new key. You see, niggas want to act up for the cameras. Niggas know what I do off camera, bro. You feel me, bro? I wouldn't say any of, the, any of this on camera. You when you were 16, you had a, a thing where you had to act in self-defense. Yeah, bro, so what happened was, bro, Enough, not even that I don't want to stir anything up, bro, I don't like to speak on the dead, may God forgive whoever got killed, I uh, hope his family forgives me one day, and whatever happened, happened, niggas was young as, bro, niggas pull up, you know, doing the same shit that this nigga does, pump faking, nigga got blasted, you feel me, and, uh, that's just basically what happened, bro, they, the cops pulled up, they had UAVs, bro, they had choppers, they had everything. What, what the hell you blast him with? What do you hit him with a fucking hand cannon, nigga? What? Yeah, hit this nigga with a Halo, f Halo Five gun. <laughs> What'd you hit him with a Destiny Two weapon? Why they got UAVs and choppers? This is not for for one person. Who'd you take down, Thanos? Who was that? I'm genuinely concerned. Who did he take down? Who are you fighting, Megatron? Who pulled up, Vin Diesel? Who? Who hit? Who Hitman? Hit Hitman Forty Seven? Who? Keanu Reeves had to pull up. Cops pulled up. They had UAVs, bro. They had choppers. They had everything. Got everything. And you got away? What are you playing GTA? No, he hid under the bridge, bro. He was safe. He went into that little area, like that Bay Area, where you just go under. Bro, no, bro stop play playing. Like that, bro, you know. We're not gonna come here and try to show off for the camera for you. Oh, bro, I'm a killer. Oh, bro, I'm so. There's no such thing as an Afghan. Bro, that's a Mexican gang. Bro, that just makes no sense, bro. You feel me? You can see that these niggas are twice and they clearly get no money. They clearly don't care about their life and they clearly got nothing to live for. Hey, shit, I got shit going on for me, bro. I got an ankle monitor. I'm fresh off bail and I'm on probation. You feel me? That's sad. I know they like showing it off, but this is like the fact that you gotta be like that though is sad. Corona ankle monitor is the most I've ever met so far. Nigga, this is not the full crew, bro. It's no, like, this is, this is not even like, bro, it's not even like one percent, bro. Are you able to say oh, anything about the ankle monitor? Oh, so y'all really? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So y'all really? Okay. <laughs> you ain't gotta tell us that, but okay. That just gave me. Uh, that just you said this not even like one percent. Yeah, all right. Nah, we can't talk too much on that case. Okay. I can do it on. Hey, you ask around, bro. My name whole way. Our name whole way. You feel me? So, I'm not really worried about some niggas, bro. I'm moving smart. Got a career. We all making money. So you got AMG. So he got AMG. Sonny just left in his AMG. We got some Hellcats pulling up. We got them AKs and sniper rifles. <laughs> I swear to God. You didn't gotta swear. I don't know why he don't. You don't gotta tell us that, bro. You should just let that. You ain't, you ain't gotta tell us you got AKs and snipers, bro. You really playing GTA in real life. If I was one of these type people and I'm doing an interview with Tommy G, and I know like they really like, and I and I really do stuff like this, bruh, on everything. I'm not. You can hear. Me, I'll probably do voice, but I'm not showing face like that. Like, I would have, like, a mask over something, bro. Like, how the other dude, he got a COVID mask on. The other dude got his ski on. Like, I would have that during covered a little. But this play look kind of cool. Why I feel like, bro, I feel like this combined with the rice and the whatever that is. Oh, that probably slapped. That just looked bomb. Or this right here mixed with that. Oh, yeah, that party fire. Oh, bro, so, let's get it rocking, bro. So, Tell what's this? Think, bro. Take a bite. Let's see. I do this. Look, put some of this on the rice and get some of that cucumbers, mm -hmm. and grab some of that lemon and squeeze it, and then eat it with a piece of beef and rice. Tell me what you think. All right. Pull up to the back parking lot. What is him for? That's good. I could definitely move to Afghanistan if they cook like this. They cook way better than this. <laughs> so one question I think we should. That's some. Hey, bro. I feel that's one thing every culture can share, brother. Know how to cook know how to cook black people know how to cook the only people i would say that's like they got to be professionals to really be good at cooking is white people <laughs> no i'm just trolling but like bruh like 
a lot of different cultures, bro, especially like in different like countries and uh continents and stuff, bro. They know how to bro throw down. But then what get me is that like especially the way they season their food, the only thing that get me is the thing they cook. They be like eel leg. You be like eels don't even got legs. Eel esophagus. Like I ew, I don't want that. So these niggas was at the bar station and this was around the time when 9-11 and shit just happened, right? So there was a lot of racism. You know what happened over there in Union City? Some, uh, I think it was an Indian lady? Hijabi, yeah. Some nigga shot her with a shotgun, right? Holy. Yeah. It must have been real difficult to be a Muslim or even look Middle Eastern in America after 9-11. After 9-11, hate crime surged against Arab Americans. For example, in Los Angeles County, there were 12 hate crimes against people of Middle Eastern descent in the year 2000, but that number jumped exponentially to 188 hate crimes in 2001, the year of 9-11. People that weren't even Muslim were targeted. For example, Babir Sin Saadi, a Sikh man who was targeted and killed while planting flowers at his gas station. It's not hard to see why ALT was created. So after 9-11, people were getting down on Afghans and other gangs were running shit so it's like, hey, we gotta create our own set to protect ourselves. Yeah, but... That's kind of the origin story of most sets. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's usually out of protection. It's the most famous, most biggest Afghan gang, bro. You go anywhere, bro, LA, anywhere, somebody will tell you they have family in ALT. It was like a thousand members, a couple hundred members, you feel me? Okay, you just got back from Afghanistan a couple months ago? Yeah. Where'd you go and how was your experience? It was pretty safe. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Did you have checkpoints? Yes. Tons of checkpoints, but as long as no, you just... No, it's not. It's no. Couple. It's no. Couple. Okay. What cities did you go to? Just a couple. Okay. How was it for the girls in Afghanistan? It's pretty cool. They don't, they don't, they don't really care about women like that. The media just makes it seem yeah. like... Do they wear hijabs and stuff in the yeah, cops? They got to. It's an Islamic country. Why, why not? Like, oh, it's there. Oh, was that the flag that they yeah, all gather that's at? Their, that's their on flag. Friday? There's that one big flag that they gather at? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the other ones. Look, it's full of Taliban. See? Yeah. It's full of Taliban. They don't really care. Yeah. But yeah, let's clean up the mustache. I, I'm. There's a little trim, little trim, not too much, you know? <laughs> just, just a little bit. I'm working on the mustache, okay? How much do you want? Like, you don't want to, like. Just a tiny, like, trim. So you don't want to, like, bring it down a little? It looks a little bushy. I can hit it with, like, a number one. <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's your mustache. It's what you want. Shave it off. You look better with it shaved. Shave it off. Yeah, you look better with it shaved. Nah. Shave it off. <laughs> I say the only thing, bro, he shouldn't shave it, but he should, yeah, get it trim, get it like trim, and then just like clean up the. I think it looks good like that. I think he's not your off. friend. He's not looking out for you. Just dress it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Looks like a real nigga with that. Just yeah. keep the mustache. Real right, bro. Keep the mustache, bro. On everything. <laughs> Number two. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Something like that. See, that, that was, that was, yeah, that was perfect. Can you tell us what we're looking at here? They got pistachios and all this stuff on it, but you see right here, if you zoom in, they got the little noodles. It's not really noodles, you know what I mean? Uh, Rondo, the little strawberries for you? <laughs> for this little girl. <laughs> Get some of this, bro. Get some of the ice cream with it as well. Mmm. It's very milky and icy. Yep. And then uh, if you want, go, you could go ahead and try this one too. Ice cream? What I usually do is just like Question start mark? on one side and go all the way down. You talking about ice cream or something uh, else? Yeah, this, this. this right now. Oh, oh shit. You look freak. That nigga wasn't here. He was uh, waiting. Dip, dip it a what? little bit in the little, little water. Uh, like a little different texture than ice cream. Yeah. 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 Like a little different texture than ice cream. You see, it's like a little hard crust around it, or I don't know how to explain it, like a little shell. Sure? I'm a big fan of Afghan food. All what I've had today is stuff I could eat every day. You know, I feel like Afghani food has to probably be the best food out there, but if I could be like any other race to just eat their food, probably have to be like Italian or Mexican, bro. But no, hey, Italian, Mexican, bro. oh my God, bro. Mexicans can throw down. They, they, they throw it down. They throw it down. Hey, no joke, they throw it down. They throw it down. <laughs> hey, hey, on me. Hey, Italian food and Mexican food, bro. Spanish food and Italian food. They got to be top two. They got to be top two, bro. Without those two, this world would be bland. I'm being serious. Bro, I love pasta. I love pizza. Love pizza. I love love pasta. I love, lasagna, bro. That's my favorite. love tacos. Love, bro. bro really oh, like my Chinese God. Food. Nachos. Like, I don't like, like Chinese food. Like the Af Afghan or the I'm hungry now. Place? 
flavors out there. The <laughs> Hungry, bro. That we go to. We try to go uh, to the usual mosque we go to, but they didn't want us filming there, so we had to go to this one that was nearby. The one that we go to, majority, it's all Afghan people. The sheikh is Afghan. It's a really good community. We really, really mess with everybody that goes there. Uh, the one that we just went to, we don't really go too much. The only time we go to that masjid is just uh, when we miss the prayer, because their prayer, Friday prayer starts later. There's a lot of mosques out here that's predominantly Afghan. I know there's some other mosques that are predominantly Pakistani or- They're in Cali, right? Like Afghan, yeah. Pakistani. This brother's a demon. Dude, you He's the killer. Do you want me to show you something for all the map? Okay, so this is, this is like one of the easiest takedowns to get. So especially when people are like tying tying up. Oh my! In the God. rain, in the socks. <laughs> yeah. socks. Let's get it. Okay, so when someone's tying up, getting this wrist control. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. For you guys? No, we just joking. We're wrestling. Ow. Now. Sure, it says for a wrestling. It's good for you, I'm mad. Why are you holding the door? Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. I think I just robbed the door. I think I just robbed the door. Right. Alright, alright. I'm going to tell you a little bit. Good. Why he get milk? That was funky, dude. Hey, what if it's fired? But okay, yeah, right there. Mine, okay, interesting. What is it's that? Like Greek yogurt liquefied with mint in it. That's literally what it is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That is not good. Much. I don't think you're beating, but I think you're tough. I think I can beat you. We gotta, we gotta solve the, we gotta solve it now. I got Hondo on Rondo. Oh. You want it right here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I got money on Tommy, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but didn't Tommy like actually wrestle though in like high school? Twenty years for what, boy? Twenty years for what, boy? You want me to take you to the concrete? Oh shit. Oh oh, oh shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey. GG. How did you get scrap? Like this shit. Fresh off of Black and Mall. <laughs> no shoes. In the red. That's the red too, man. <laughs> Is it good for no, someone who don't train? Really good. Really good. Yeah, I'm about to say, like, he, like, it didn't, it wasn't like Tommy just, like, slammed him on the floor real quick. He, yeah, he, yeah, he held his own for real. So, for somebody who don't even actually wrestle like that, yeah. All right, folks, we got an inside look. But I was say, but doesn't Tommy actually wrestle, though? Like, he actually wrestled? Uh, final thoughts? I like to say, um, when he Damn. for nothing. I don't know what that means, but I'll You got that nigga lip bleeding? Hold on, y'all. Damn. It, that's why that nigga thought y'all was serious. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Hold on. <laughs> Bro Flex having an ankle monitor. This was a hard watch, a rare t Oh, dang. You think it'll look hard to give a haircut at this nice ass playground when they pull up? <laughs> no one knows these guys in the Bay, Lamal. I know, real shit. No one's like, oh, it's the Arabs. Until they pull it with the, the with the camel. I met a lot of crews across America. I can't get into deals or what I know, but these guys are more against it. I crews I talk to.